Let's make a sample instrument out of these. We've been looking at mapping editors in samplers as a means of mapping a recording or sample to a note or pitch you're playing on your keyboard. Well, what about how loud the recording or sample is? So you can map that to how loud you're playing on your keyboard. With real instruments, the timbre or tone color changes depending on how loud you're hitting, bowing, or blowing the thing. So you need to represent this with your sample instruments. The piano sounds soft when played quietly, more metallic and bright when you play it loudly. And in order for your keyboard controller to know how hard you're playing, it looks at how fast you're playing each note. So a note to press slowly is quiet, fast, loud. And it measures these velocity layer increments from 0 to 127. So in today's recording, we have two pitch centers, C2 and C4, at two dynamic layers each, which I'm going to call quiet and loud. Now I'm going to build this in two different sample players, contact and skip along to this time code to see it done in Logic's multi-sampler. Open up Contact and double click on the blank panel to create a new instrument. Click Spanner to go under the hood and open the mapping editor. Drag on your audio and first select the loud samples. Now we're going to tell Contact that these samples are only to be played when these notes are hit at a velocity of 100 and above, so 100 to 127. And with these quiet samples, I'm going to select this a different way, just by dragging the zone edges up and down. And these are going to play between 0 and 99. The reason why the quiet samples go up to 99 and not 100 is because you don't want both the quiet and the loud samples to play at the same time on the odd occasion that you play the note at a velocity of exactly 100. Next up, set the note ranges according to their titles, and remember to set the root note. This tells the sampler where the pitch of the original recording should sit. Then we can use this function to simply spread the notes out automatically. If you'd like to try and build this instrument yourself, click on the links in the video description below for the original WAV, but also this sample instrument so you can look under the hood yourself. This video is brought to you by Pianobook, a community of like-minded composers who make and share sounds for free. If this video has been useful for you, hit like and subscribe and hit the notification bell to see the next video in this series. Any questions or requests for future videos, place them in the comments down below. Open up the Logic Sampler and click on the Mapping Editor. Drag on your audio and first select the loud samples. Now we're going to tell the Logic Sampler that these samples are only to be played when these notes are hit at a velocity of 100 and above, so 100 to 127. And with these quiet samples, I'm going to select this a different way, just by dragging the zone edges up and down. And these are going to play between 0 and 99. The reason why the quiet samples go up to 99 and not 100 is because you don't want both the quiet and the loud samples to play at the same time on the odd occasion that you play the note at a velocity of exactly 100. Next up, set the note ranges according to their titles and remember to set the root note. This tells the sampler where the pitch of the original recording should sit and then click on this function to fill the gaps. If you'd like to try and build this instrument yourself, click on the links in the video description below for the original WAV, but also this sample instrument so you can look under the hood yourself. This video is brought to you by Pianobook, a community of like-minded composers who make and share sounds for free. If this video has been useful for you, hit like and subscribe and hit the notification bell to see the next video in this series. Any questions or requests for future videos, place them in the comments down below.